Hi, I'm Kristen Thompson with I Love to Create, and today I have a fun and easy tie-dye technique just for you. But before we can get to our fun, we have to prep. Always pre-wash your fabric to remove any sizing. Next, a flat covered surface, gloves to protect your hands, an apron to protect your clothes, and we're ready to roll. Okay, so now that we're all prepped and ready to go, the fun technique I have for you today is called the freehand technique. And what we're gonna need is the colors of your choice, and we're gonna go ahead and fill up our bottles with water. Now what I like to do is I like to only fill up my bottles halfway, put my lid back on them, and give them a good shake. The reason why I do this is because it really helps me dissolve the dye that's inside the bottle. Then I wanna go ahead and fill it back up the rest of the way up to the black line there, give it another good shake. Then we're ready to go. So before I apply my dye to my shirt, I wanna make sure that it is damp and laid flat, as flat as can be, because this will really help your design. And today I'm just gonna do some zigzag designs, but you can do whatever you want. You can try circles, you can try going up and down, you can do hearts, whatever you want. So I start with my bottle on one end and I just start squeezing just like this. And I want to go down about two-thirds of the way on my shirt, come back up any spots that I want to try and cover. And then I want to roll into my other color, take my lid off and start at the opposite end, just work my way up just like this. Once you got your dye on there, just like that, go ahead and cover it up with some plastic. Let it sit for about six to eight hours, give it a good rinse, and there you have it, your fun freehand technique.